G'day, this is Captain Noob, and someone has actually ported the Fallout 3 Gatling laser into Fallout 4. That's what it looks like, the preview transform is a little bit misaligned, but uh, having this as a direct comparison to the Fallout 4 Gatling laser, they do about the same-ish damage. This one fires a little bit slower, interestingly enough. Okay, you can go away now. So, getting into this thing's attachments, you've got the um, 2A receiver, which makes it fire just regular laser bullets, equivalent to the standard receiver or the standard capacitor in the Gatling layers. You've got the beta receiver, which fires multi-burst lasers a bit more slowly, but for a lot more damage. You've also got the Omega receiver here, fires multi-burst plasma balls, kind of like a shotgun. It's, it's actually insane with the uh, explosive legendary effect. We'll create each of one of these, we'll leave this one on the 2A receiver for now. You can't do anything with the barrels. Maybe they're going to add something with the update, maybe a focusing lens or something, I don't really know. And a material, this is probably left over from the uh, Gatling Laser's original um, form. That's just from the Creation Club. And a legendary effect is there if you need it. We'll chuck on the Furious, I mean the explosive one, a little bit later because there's something I want to show off with that. So I'll create a couple more of these and we'll see you in Gunners Plaza. Alright, so here we are in Gunners Plaza with our Gatling laser of the Fallout 3 variety. There is um, some custom first person animations. They sort of break when you go into a place where you'd usually leave your weapon down. If you start moving whilst the weapon is pointed down, it'll just sort of slide out of your hands and go back to a regular Gatling laser animation. So, gaps have been taken, but there's also a reload animation. Not anything of war data quality, but yep, that's what it looks like in first person. In third person, it uses the same animations as a Gatling laser, and it honestly looks a little bit small. I don't know. Anyways, let's just get started and see what it sounds like. All the weapon is producing is a low bass sound, and that's all I can hear. There is very little to be said about the uh, actual, you know, sound of this weapon. There's like nothing there. It's very unnoticeable. It would have been fine if they had to use the regular um, sounds from a Gatling laser, so I don't know why they just didn't use that. Maybe they wanted to have a sound like a, like a different sort of echoey sound, but then they forgot to put the main sound on top of it. I really don't know, but the Gatling laser here, it's not really doing all that well. We're on very hard difficulty using a standard receiver um, Gatling laser, basically, and it's okay, I suppose. It's not breaking any kill records, but we could certainly be doing better. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I meant to reload, but I hit the um, transfer button on a container. That's okay. We'll mow you down, hopefully, and we can head on with our beta one. So that was the regular 2A, so moving over to beta, it doesn't change the um, look of it at all, but we do have 475 in our capacity instead of um, 500. And it also has a weird bass low town sound, but it's also firing blue lasers. It sounds kind of silly, but this thing does a mean business, at least, when it comes to using this thing as a weapon for killing stuff. Alright, Captain Bridges is around, we gotta crit her in the face. Is it just the one shot? Looks like it just might be the one shot, which is odd for a Gatling laser. Usually it's a 10 round burst for these weapons. So, maybe we just back off a little bit and pull out the beta one in a second, if it gets to a really bad situation. We'll just keep a watch of our health bar here. Yeah, okay, we're switching over to the Omega one, actually. This is the one that is a pretty much a Gatling plasma, but also a shotgun at the same time. As you can tell, it, it, it breaks the sound. There's that much projectiles being spit out from this that the engine literally can't keep up with the sound. If I fire this thing for long enough, the sound will crash and come back at once in a mass ear rape sensation. It's, it's not good, so we've we'll, we got to keep watch of our bullet supplies or our um, fires there. That wasn't a blade swing speed power fist, and now you're dead. You have paid the price for inferior gear. Alright, so coming around the corner here, we'll finish off the rest of them, and yeah, look at all those numbers spewing from these guys. That's hundreds of projectiles, not hundreds. Hundreds over a course of a couple of seconds, but all those projectiles, yeah, think about that and um, the explosive legendary effect. This thing's quite overpowered. Also, it makes it makes anti-material rifles ragdoll across the room like you wouldn't believe, which is interesting. Alright, 
one more turret to kill, and then we can move on to something a little bit more serious. I feel like using the beta version of this Gatling laser is the only thing worth using. There's also a put away animation as well as a draw animation too, so yeah. Some good attention has been taken to the animations, a little bit of gaps here and there, but all in all it's pretty solid work. Okay, let's get started in here. We're going to be using the Omega version of this the most because it's got the damage output and these guys are tanky bastards. So, as, as like, the faster we can kill them, the better, honestly. And he threw his boy across the room there. I'm not sure if you caught that, but yeah, they, they just like to ragdoll when they hit by this. I guess the amount of projectiles that are hitting them, although I don't think... I, well, I guess plasma projectiles are technically missiles, so they do have the force to push stuff. Definitely they do. If it was a laser gun, the the, the force of the laser actually wouldn't, you know, do any... I uh, wouldn't push him. Like, you could shoot at a glass bottle all day with a laser gun and it won't move. It won't budge. Obviously, in real life, the thing would probably, you know, overheat or something, crack under the heat of the laser, but yep, not in this game. There's, there's no mass in light, or there's very little mass in light, so I guess that's why. I think you'd be worried about the heat. But I ain't no physicist or scientist, man. I'm just a shit talker on the internet who likes to talk about fallout weapons and shoot people. So, yep, this one is doing okay. I know we can get it better. We're going to get it better in just a bit. But for what it's worth, it's making short work of these super mutants enough. And if I bothered to aim at the head, I'm sure we'd take him out quicker. Even though this thing fires pretty much a cone of plasma bolts. You could probably just have them all get on target if you target the chest, especially at this range. But some of them will miss if you go for the headshots, unless you're probably up real close. That is a basic car super mutant. And those rad roaches, they've had a really bad day. All right, let's get up in your face and uh, open wide, please. Yeah, that's definitely the way to do it, I suppose. All right, we'll quickly hop over this stuff here and we'll clear out whatever pests are left in here. You know, being able to just burst fire this thing to keep the barrel spinning is such a good thing. Unfortunately, you can't do that in Fallout 76 at all. Righto. And with all of those people cleared out, we are done with the place, the Super Mutant place in Fallout 4. What's it called? Felon's Apartment Store. So, yeah, pretty good performance. You wouldn't expect a Gatling laser to be firing plasma bolts like that. But here we are. I'm going to put the explosive effect on it so you can all marvel at this thing's overpoweredness. Okay, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to hold down the trigger and you can watch the slapstick hilarity ensue. And there you have it, the Fallout 3 Gatling laser. Now, what do I think of this mod? Eh, it's alright. Um, there's a lot of things that are a little bit underdeveloped. This thing really doesn't do a lot more than a regular Gatling laser that makes it worth using, and its extra abilities are either lame or completely overpowered. So something needs to be tweaked a little bit there. The sounds definitely need to be looked at as well. So uh, if the mod author wants to continue... Uh, updating and supporting this mod. There's a few pointers of what I'd do to change this weapon. But yep, if you'd like to see this thing in your game, I'll be have a link in the description. As far as I know, this one's a PC exclusive, but uh, using a regular Gatling laser from Fallout 4 is probably, <laughs> a, 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 probably a more enjoyable experience that thing's actually designed to be in the game. Whereas this one is just a little port with some crazy effects that you can put onto it. Uh, fun cheat weapon, by the way. If you if you got the explosive legendary effect, you can blow up yourself. Pretty good, by the way. That was like a Palpatine jump there, except Palpatine didn't die. Thank you for watching, guys.